What is up guys, this is me, Johnny Cooper 64 here with another YouTube video, and I don't usually post any content that isn't Crash Bandicoot, but it's been since 2018 that I have done something different than platform video game characters. Today I'm talking about the new Death Note one-shot manga to be released in 2020. First off, I started watching the Death Note anime last year ago. I always heard people talk about it for years along with the famous character L. For years I've bashed anime, you know, weeboos and stuff like that, but this in a way made me change my mind but the only reason I didn't like anime is because of how, how characters die and they get resurrected later on or whatever but Death Note gave me breaking bad vibes people even said it's like the breaking bad of anime but anyways I love Death Note best anime I've seen I have read the mangas which people have told me are better and more detailed along with the final act being much more constructed well which in the mangas it, it's half the story but in the anime it's more like the final act I'm still in book four though I'm catching up but on to the news the new one shot is releasing in february 4 2020 as a continuation to the final manga and also the one shot that followed up after the protagonist Light Yagami's demise and the end of Kira's world. Thought I did see that Ryuk only made a small appearance at the end of that one shot that followed up the ending. And also the story was about like a cheap Kira who got a death note by another Shinigami, not Ryuk, but another one that only wrote elderly people's names who wanted to die to put them out of their misery and an appearance of Nier, the character who beat Light. However, this Kira ended up killing themselves or something like that, which took place three years after Light to death but this one shot seems to focus more on Ryuk as a main character whom will probably talk about his adventures with light to the new protagonist of the one shot according to this tweet here's what the new manga will be about Ryuk goes to find a talented guy like light Yagami so he, he seems to be he still liked light Yagami you know and I, maybe he regretted killing light Yagami maybe he should have actually saved light you know since for me it seems that Ryuk knew that light was probably the only one who will have gone this hard with the death note and the most entertaining selector in the death note but anyways ryuk selected a boy named minaru as a new owner of the death note doesn't use it and decides to sell it via net auction teeing up by world leaders near gives counsel to the investigators the u.s president wins it for one quadrillion yen which is nine trillion in usd dollars uh minoru tells him divide the amount into the number of the persons who have a bank account in yatsuba bank live in tokyo and are under 16 years old and transfer it to them equally so it's, he seems to be like a good guy it's estimated almost a million people a million dollars people or something like that i don't know like this is translated from japanese to english so some of the uh, words will be dismantled near gave up to find the owner it seems that near try to find whoever owns this new death note but he seems to have uh given up on it or something like that. Ryuk brings the Death Note to the White House. The rule was modified. Those who sell or buy the Death Note shall die. If you die, others can use it for the nation. President says, I won't receive it, but will announce to win it. So it seems the United States president wins it or something like that. Or is it the Tokyo president? I'm not sure. Ryuk brings it back. Money transfers has begun. It causes the Kira bubble economy. Minaru, who doesn't know about the new rule, he said to Ryuk, uh, don't break a promise. Never appear before me ever again. He dies at the bank. Ryuk writes his name on the death note. He had a good idea. Anyone can use a death note for a long time. It seems that one of the characters sells the death note and the president buys it, but Ryuk writes a new rule, but that whoever owns it, you know, or buys it dies, which with the other owner sold it and ends up dying. It seems that Ryuk is more evil in this, you know. I remember the rule was that he'll just erase your memories if you give it up to a new owner, but in this one, you meet your demise by Ryuk himself. So the president is the protagonist of this one shot from what it seems, or I don't know who it will be. Maybe, maybe it's it's just Ryu and Nier has something to do with it. Hopefully Nier gets killed in this. I don't know how. Maybe not by the Death Note, but by Kira supporters who, from what I remember, still support Kira to return one day. It could be like how Uncle Jack kills Hank uh, or the ending to Once Upon a Time in Hollywood, except the killers win. And folks, as soon as I was making this video, we get a new Death Note artwork. And this is the official artwork for this specific manga. We get older Nier, so he seems to be more of an adult now, and this seems to be years later after the uh, epilogue the first epilogue we got near has longer hair he has jesus hair he's a homosexual sophomore just joking uh we get ryuk in the background looking epic as always he looks the same you know because he's a shinigami but you know near's the most changed character you know who will have thought near out of all the characters will have still be living and you know still representing death note after light's death they show make it where Misa did not kill herself and she gets her memories back and we get an 
an El Camino Misa Amani movie. Am I right, folks? Also, the Death Note being one of the most popular animes, they shall make a anime adaptation of this one shot along with the previous one. Maybe like combine both of them. It will be seen by a lot and will get more people to watch the anime and also read the mangas. Or maybe into a one hour and a half length film by Netflix instead of making live action remakes, which are complete shit by the way. They should do that instead. I heard Netflix is going to be making a Death Note 2 movie, which we can't stop sadly, and will be shit as always because the actors are so bad in the movie. But anyways, they should promote the anime adaptation via there, or maybe it will be vice versa where the anime film will promote the live action one. The manga will be released in the February 2020 issue of Jump Square magazine. It is unknown when the English translation will come, but hopefully the manga is good and also kills Nier as a character because I hate that guy. But hopefully this one shot brings the series to a full length manga or the anime adaptation. Please make it. I miss the animation. Would you guys be buying it next month when it releases? What do you think of the plot? Shall they make an anime adaptation out of this? Let me know in the comments section below and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.